Oh, there's one. Right there. Is he going to turn around? Yep, there he goes. Looks at the zombie over on the left. Then decides to do a 180 and start coming towards me. Brilliant. <laughs> So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome back to some more Battle for Neighborville here today on my channel. Today we're actually going to be showcasing a new costume. It's been a while since I've done this. We're actually rocking the new All-Star costume right now, which I believe is hands down the best All-Star costume in the game. It's called the All-Superion and I think this looks sick. I get a vibe of like Tron for some reason from this. I don't know why, but I am going to be part of the Bald Brigade. So we're actually going to go rock the All-Star as a bald dude, which I think looks absolutely hilarious when you have like a bald zombie or something like that. Nonetheless, though, this costume is sick. I think it is amazing. I absolutely love it. I haven't really purchased any costumes for a while or showcased them, but there's quite a few costumes which I do want to check out that was in the trailer. There is the nightcap one that I'm definitely getting. That Citron costume was really good as well. But apparently one of the Citron costumes which I said at the end looked like a plasma Citron or something like that. A lot of you guys are saying that's a different costume than the one that I thought originally it was. So I went back to look at it and it does seem to be a different costume. So it looks like there may be two Citron costumes that we'll be able to purchase in the near future. So we are going to go and playing as the All-Star. We do have a new weekly event called Suburbanation Isolation. I actually really like this mode. It's basically Suburbanation, but you only have one point active at a time, so everybody's fighting over that single objective. Very similar to hard points from previous games. So the game's pretty good. The games can't go on for a while though, so if you're on a team which is gonna lose, it's probably not as fun, but if you're on the winning team, you can get a lot of kills. Alright, then note to self, let's not get hit by the minecart. I'm gonna go take out this spike grid as well, because it is in the way. Alright, plants, where you at? Oh, there we go. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, no. Well, I'm dead. Did I kill anybody with my imp punt? No. Right, let's run to the objective. Whoa, that was close. Ooh. I literally saw that at the last second. Oh, come here, chocolate. There we go. Carry on running. You know, by the time I get to this objective, it's going to change. Oh, my God. So many choppers right now. Oh, no. Leave me alone, chomper. Leave me alone. By the way, they do a lot of chomp damage now as well. Woo. If I would have got hit one more time, I would have been dead. Oh, come on, Nightcap. Get away. Sunflower is literally waiting for backup here. Nightcap's such an annoying character. Hold the right trigger down and just jump. And that's all you need to do. Don't get me wrong. I love playing as Nightcap. But it's just so annoying to go against sometimes. Fiji Memes has got 40 vanquishes on the plant side. 40 vanquishes. The next closest person is 14. Oh, there they go to sprint away once again. Get the kill. There we go. Oh, come on. That is not where I fired the input. Well, I did absolutely terrible. Sometimes sunflowers can be some of the most broken characters in this game because if they're healing a plant, that plant that you're trying to attack is almost impossible to take out. And on top of that, if you try and attack the sunflower, they'll just run around and jump and spit out sun everywhere. Well, we spawned right next to the objective, so that was a little bit kind. Plants spawn all the way on the other side of the map. I literally cannot even see who's attacking me right there. Oh, really? How did that miss? You're in there somewhere, Nightcap. There you are. There we go. Finally. Come on, Tom Hank. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That car was so... <gasps> Wait, what? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fiji. Are you Mr. Fiji? You are Fiji. I'm going to give you a pinky winky. There we go. You know, electric slide is great to play on this map because if the plants have this objective at A... You just shoot them off the map. It's brilliant. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, really? That only just missed. Come here, Corn. Come here, Tom Hank. There we go. They're really coming again. Are you really chasing after me again? Really? you just going after me out of everyone that's in, in this section? And then they run away. Brilliant. I'm going to get you, dude. Unless that chomper decides to appear and try and take me out again. I hear a chomper somewhere. Oh, here he comes again. Here he comes. Coming to ruin the day. Oh, here he is again. It's just non-stop chomper right now. You know, I was playing late last night, just grinding some prize bulbs in this mode. And I swear to God, there was a chomper which just non-stop targeting me the entire game. It was crazy. They would literally burrow past about 10 zombies to try and take me down.
That's what you get for dancing after you vanquish someone. Seriously, where are these plants at? Oh, there's one. Right there. Is he going to turn around? Yep, there he goes. Looks at the zombie over on the left. Then decides to do a 180 and start coming towards me. Brilliant. Like, he was even shooting at the other zombie. He was looking in the other direction. He burrows and then completely does a 180. No, don't let him get it. Don't let him get a point. Oh, the score disappeared. No way. It actually disappeared. They didn't get a chance to get a point. What? Hurry up, guys. Get over here. I need backup. I can't believe that they didn't manage to get a point then. They captured it just as it then disappeared. Another like half a second and they would have got a point. All right, there's one. Nope, I'm going over to the side. Yes, there we go. 100 to none. Absolute domination. And once again, the chomper tried to finish me off at the end, but didn't manage to do it. Look at that. 100 to zero. I'm not saying I did a lot in that game, but it's a team effort overall, you know? Hey, you know what? We got objective master. We got the most objective score in the game. Nonetheless though guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero and I will catch you all in another video.